Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will discuss your role and what you need to know to do it. The biggest part of your role is helping the teacher with a given student or group of students. You are going to have to be flexible and have the ability to multitask, as at times you will have to focus on the students as well as listening to the teacher. Your prime role as a teaching assistant is to convey what the teacher is trying to get the students to do and to achieve, so you will be helping the teacher by assisting the students. It is worth noting that usually the students you'll be dealing with require more support for a whole range of reasons, so you will need to develop skills in order to motivate and translate what is required to the students. In short, you're an extension of the teacher, so it's very important that you've got a close working relationship and understanding of what is required in order to convey the right things to the student or push them in a direction that the teacher needs them to go. So as much as you are there to help the student learn, you must also understand that this has to be under the direction of the teacher, who's ultimately being directed by the school. So, really, you're helping the teacher, the school, and the student. In order to help, you need to know the outcomes you are hoping to achieve, because if you don't have the outcome in your mind, it's very hard to get the students to achieve the right things. So, alongside what the teacher has prepared for the class, in terms of aims, objectives, outcomes, etc., you will usually be required to personalise some of the content and either encourage the students towards the same aims as the majority of the class, or maybe change the aims slightly in line with the teacher's ideas on what they personally need to achieve. The teacher may have prepared a slightly different lesson for a particular student or group. This is known as differentiation. Things will change at different times, so you must keep focused and constantly convey to the teacher what is happening with regards to progress and any alterations you have made. Sometimes the focus is just going to be simple, such as, right, those are the aims on the board, and we're continuing with that. But it is more usual that teachers will give you more information to help you along. For example, with regard to specifying something that will help to personalise for a particular student. So, to recap, you have to know what the outcomes are, exactly what you have to do, and what you and your students are trying to achieve. It's important for you to be thinking about whether the student's learning needs require a complete revision or adaptation of the teacher's lesson plan, or if there is anything that has happened on the day that is going to need you to adapt or change the mechanism by which you deliver it. You are going to be helping with individual lessons or over a series of lessons, so it's important that you get used to working in blocks of time, preparing for those blocks of time, working in those blocks of time, and then evaluating those blocks of time. This means you have to get used to a cycle. Prepare, do, reflect, prepare, do, reflect. Or prepare, teach, reflect would probably be slightly more accurate. Because even though it is a teaching assistant job, you are teaching in that one-to-one -one or one-to-three, etc. role. There will often be an expectation that you will lead the teaching and learning for those students, even if the focus of the lesson and general objectives are directed by the teacher. You have to remember that you're there to extend the reach of the teacher and become the teaching and learning point for those students. So, you have to know how you're going to go about it and exactly what you're doing. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.